a long time ago, you guys, when you sent in your tactics, well, we had some issues, right? A lot of these tactics needed to be fixed. Stop everything. Everything needed to be sort of maybe we had the wrong player or the wrong role chosen or just it just didn't work. But over the last couple of years, at least in the last two years, more and more of these tactics are coming looking pretty good. And this is the case with today's tactic. Now I've taken, uh, we do a stream every Wednesday called Fixing Your Tactics. It's a chance for you to hop in, bring your tactics and I give it a playthrough. Uh, sometimes it just needs a small little change and sometimes I show you all the options that one tactic can have. And today, there's no different. Today I'm just going to take what we did on the live stream just for this one tactic because it's kind of interesting. All right. We also had to deal with this question of when do you choose a wing bank over a complete wing bank and how do you use them with hit early crosses? My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. This is the place where we do football manager content. Yes, we also stream three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. The timings have been changed because of extenuating circumstances over which I had no control. Uh, occasionally, you might hear the squeals of the light of my children who might come storming through that door. So, yes, lots of surprises. Well, um, this is the place where we do all kinds of football manager content. And today, we're going to be taking a look at someone's tactic. Champions League defense. So this is the third tactic we've got. Mass going this way with supporting the wing back, box to box going this way with the wing back support, DLP anchoring the roll, Bob target man on support. Yeah, focus play down the left, focus play down the right. Again, another tactic. I don't know why people want to go with such a low tempo. Especially when you do counter regroup. Lose the ball, come back quickly, but then take your own sweet ass time to put the ball up the pitch. How does that work? Yeah, and you want them to defend. So I don't think this is right. You know, like, well, we'll play the game and then we'll see what happens, right? Okay. Which is what we do here on our let's be disastrous and hope things work out with a slight tweak here and there. Uh, this is not my save. This is one of your saves. But we want to use a save that it's got at least some balance to the, the team, right? So this is no changes to the tactic. Let's see what happens. We play, we've got two defensive systems going toe to toe with each other. Well, it's possession heavy, right? So he gets into the opposition third and tries to do something with it. So just wait. Wow. He's just attacking and attacking and attacking. Does the opposition ever come out to play? Okay, the only changes I would do to this tactic, and I only I mentioned this already, is just tempo. Okay? Because in terms of getting the ball up the pitch, you can't. So in some games, you might want to be a bit more counter-attacking, right? Because you're sitting back protecting a lead, right? So, so what would I do? Okay, so now I want to sit back and protect the lead. All I do is this. First ball out there, wider. That's it. Standard passing. Now they're just going to have to attack me all the way. Okay? That's all we do. Okay, so okay, you have a defensive tactic. All you do now is sit back and hit teams on the break. Bet I'm still watching. Oh, you still watch your videos? Thanks, man. I'm usually work at this time. Today, I'm working from home. So I could oh, okay, you're working from home. Can complete wingbacks play with cross early? Why don't we just change this guy to a complete wingback on attack? Is there going to be much of a difference? Nah. You got all the, you got the security forces behind, man. So, oh, there we go. Win the ball, go up the pitch quickly. Don't waste any time. It's a good tactic. I'm not going to change it. Not one bit, right? Because it makes a lot of sense. You've got a mess on one side, uh, supporting the more attacking duty. And you've got a uh, wing back on, or rather, we've got a well, box to box on the other side, supporting the complete wing back. You've got a DLP in the center of the pitch, stringing passes from deeper areas. So he's going to look out for the target man the first chance he gets. It's a good tactic. It's a very good tactic. Man, sometimes I feel like using your tactics for draft mode. Really? Honestly? This is how I feel. Like, I'm staring at this tactic going, I mean, I want to use this for draft mode, man. After the tweaks I make, look, he's doing well. The reason why wingbacks are simpler to use is because 
Like if I go to wing back right now, it's support, right? See this? He can do all this. He can cross on deep. Uh, cross more often. Do a direct pass. You get this option with the wing backs. You go to complete wing backs, you don't get the option. They go to the byline. So I would definitely probably advise using this role. Uh, using to use this role. But even on an attack duty, right? This is what they're gonna do. They're gonna go down the byline. Right? But when you use the hit early cross team instruction, which is this, it affects the whole team. Right? So it mollifies that uh, that duty. Because there's no such thing in the game as an either or condition. There is no such thing. Alright, so you mollify the behavior of certain roles like the wing bank right now. So But generally if you don't want them to go to the byline, I would definitely advise using uh, uh, advise you against using the complete wing bank. I do like 532 systems. They in fact I used the 532 system in the playoffs uh, recently because I had this specific goal of trying to make sure that I was hard to beat because I didn't really have a strong defense. And um, I wanted to hit teams on the break. We managed to get through to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, my lack of adventure didn't see me get too far. I'm going to try and fix that in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show and you found it useful. Don't forget, I stream three times a week. Now, Wednesdays is when you can bring in your tactics. Mondays, we'll just be doing tactics and stuff. And of course, Fridays, I do my journeyman challenge. Now, if you enjoyed today's show, hit, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button. And please take care of yourselves. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.